everyone. Thank you for being here today. I am Melissa. You all know me. You at home do not yet know me. Um, I am here to talk about the dreaded toilet seat. Now, I'm not trying to convince any men to have to always put the toilet seat down or any women to have to always put the toilet seat up. My goal today is to convince all of you to put down everything, including the lid. So there's a few different things I'm going to be talking about. Now there is a lot more out there for reasons why you should put the lid down, but I'm just going to discuss three of them. The first one is um, that it'll help to improve and avoid spraying the bathroom with your pee and your poop. It is quite disgusting. Okay, it gets on your toothbrushes, it gets on your hand towels, your razors, you know, for women and men. So that is one thing I'm going to be going over today, as well as I'm going to try to keep fairness between men and women. And I also, um, it can stop at least one argument between the sexes, okay? So be sanitary, be fair, and be happy. So first off, like I was saying, um, if you don't shut the lid before you flush, it can cause fecal matter to become an aerosol and go throughout the bathroom. Now bathrooms are not very big, so that it goes about 10 feet is how far it can travel, and that is the entire bathroom. Now the reason why I decided to do this and why I'm trying to convince everyone to put the lid down is because when I was around 16, 17 years old, I watched an episode of 2020 and it had information about how the fecal matter goes everywhere, bacteria, germs, and it was disgusting. It made my stomach turn. And so I have been adamant about trying to change everyone to put the lid down. Now, other reasons, that messed up. Other reasons is also because if you live in college dorms, military barracks, or family homes, you are actually getting your pee and poop on other people's things. Now, I know for me, I don't want to have my own pee or poop on my stuff, granted anyone else's pee and poop on my stuff. So just keep that in mind whenever you are using the bathroom. So this was actually discovered about 40 years ago by a Dr. Charles Gerba in 1975. Um, and it's uncanny for the amount of research that he has done, and he has tried to put some of it out there, but it has not been spread to everybody, and it really should be. I have a little video clip that I'd like you all to watch. Let's go ahead and turn this light off. Let's go ahead and set the mood, shall we? Dr. Gerber has discovered that the bathroom is the most to reveal just how many germs fly into the air when I flush. And therein lies the contradiction of the modern toilet. The contraption made to whisk germs away is actually spewing them right back at us. As you can see with these graphic enhancements, the mist from this bowl can spread staphylococcus and E. coli up to 10 feet, landing on my razor or my toothbrush. On rare occasions, staph infections can lead to inflammation of the brain while E. coli can damage your kidneys. Oh, that's not good. That could include some E. coli or you know, whatever is flushing up out of that toilet. I'm glad I have to brush my teeth with that. <laughs> All day is going to be like this, basically? All day. So what would you do next, Mike, after going to the bathroom? Well, normally I'd brush my teeth and shave, but in this case, I suppose I could vomit. <laughs> okay, now this video was um, of Micro from Dirty Jobs. You all may know him from Dirty Jobs. And this was on the Discovery Channel. Um, now this was just a little clip of the video, so you can go on YouTube. The video is called Discovery, Bacteria in Toilets. Okay, and it's about a five, six minute video. I didn't really want to get into all the disgusting parts of it. it this is just a little overview of what will happen if you do not put the lid down before you flush. Now as they were saying, there's this can, has E. coli and Staphylococcus, which is also known as staph, and it can cause different things such as diarrhea, UTIs, pneumonia, um, as far as it can also cause kidney failure, which is horrible from E. coli. And then Staphylococcus, it can cause boils, 
it can cause wound infections, brain abscesses, and even skin abscesses. So these are some major things that can be caused from Staphylococcus as well as from E. coli. And it's spread all over your bathroom. Okay, another research that was done, it was on Good Morning America by Kate, and it's stated in that that researchers from Lee Teaches Hospital in the UK detected a germ that can cause diarrhea and even life-threatening inflammation of the colon because of these different bacteria that are spreading throughout your bathroom. Okay, so on to the next part. Um, to be fair, okay? It is very unfair for men to always have to put the toilet seat down. Do you all agree? I agree. Okay, as well as it is unfair for women to always have to put the toilet lid up or toilet seat up. So we should all be fair and just do it together. Everyone does everything. That is the first opportunity for equal opportunity for everybody. And the last reason I'm going to discuss today is to be happy. Can't we all just get along? Okay, so women get angry whenever men, like I've already said, whenever men don't put the toilet seat down. And men get mad whenever they always have to put the toilet seat down. But then they try to be nice and they just keep the toilet seat down and just pee. Well then women get mad because there's pee all over the toilet seat. And what woman wants to sit on pee, right? So, in order to be happy and stop one, at least one argument in a household between sexes, you might as well just everyone put it down. So today I have discussed multiple reasons why you should be all putting the toilet seat down um, to keep you and your bathroom more sanitized as well as being fair for everybody and also to have at least one less argument. Now I have attached a few websites on here if you would like to jot them down. Um, these are a few other ones other than what I have discussed today that give you more information on different arguments that have been settled as well as different videos you can watch and all the different things that you can get from your bathroom if you don't put that lid down. Okay, and right now I am going to start the questions and answer portion. Does anyone have any questions for me today? I do. Okay. Should you close it just before you flush or just whenever? You should always close the toilet lid before you flush. Okay, if the toilet lid is up, and you flush it and then you put it down, you're still getting all of those germs and bacteria and E. coli all over the bathroom. So the goal is to shut the lid and then flush the toilet at all times. Do I have any more questions? I have one. Yes. Um, who first discovered that pee and poop get everywhere and why did he do research on it? Okay, again, his name was Dr. Charles Gerba. Um, he is known for environmental studies in germs and households, so he's done all types of different researches. He's even done ones on um, like waste and stuff in communities, as well as he's done research on if the bathroom versus the kitchen, which one's cleaner, which one has more germs, just so you can learn different ways to keep your house as clean as possible. Does that help answer your question? Any more questions today? Uh, I have a question. Okay. So I use the toilet bowl cleaners a lot. Okay, I'm very adamant about using that. Does that help like, stop the spread of germs if you do leave it up when you flush the toilet? No, it does not. Um, you would think because it is a antibacterial stuff that you're flushing with, it still spreads the germs. So not only are you getting all that bacteria and germs everywhere, you're also getting all those chemicals as well on your toothbrushes and your towels and your floor, so anything you touch in that bathroom not only has pee and poop on it, but also has bleach on it as well. So if you're intaking too much of that, you can as well get sick. 
And do we have any more questions? I have actually have another question. Okay. Um, if I haven't had any of these symptoms, um, like I don't have any of them, and I haven't put the lid down, like why is that? Like if I don't have any of the symptoms, for it? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, and the thing is, is your body can handle so many germs. Okay, it it can fight off some of the E. coli and some of the other germs that are in the air and that are on your toothbrush, but it can only fight so much. There's that saying, too much of anything is a bad thing. Well, too much of that is a bad thing and it can eventually cause some of these issues that we have discussed today. Do I have any more questions? No. Wonderful. Well, again, thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I hope I was able to give you a little bit of information on putting the lid down. And these are my three guests today. Thank you.